In the first half of 2024, the Xbox 360 physical games in the United States have been like going crazy, y'all. So in this video, we're gonna talk about some crazy expensive games that over a hundred dollars. That's right, these next 14 games are all over $100. All right, like, let's start out with games that are $100. Sometimes these games might be $101, $102, $99, but we're gonna stick with average of $100. First, first game we're gonna talk about is Crash Time Auto Band Pursuit. Now this kinda semi, kinda rarish game. People just recently found out about this game. I had this game for about two years now and I like racing games, so I try to get every kind of racing game. It just spiked. This game used to be like 25 bucks. I think I paid less than that like two years ago and it just spiked all of a sudden when this 360 boom hit. If you see Crash Time in a pawn shop or somewhere else, make sure you grab it now. Now, a lot of these games are on the Xbox 360 marketplace you can get for cheap. But remember, we're talking about physical and in the United States. Cause I know, I know a lot of you amazing people overseas say, hey, you got this game over here cheap. Now I understand. So we're just talking about NSTC games or games from the States. All right, this one shocked me. I had this for like four years now. Played it a lot, love it. But Raiden Fighter Aces is now a hundred dollar game. It's a good game. It has like three Raiden games on here. You get Raiden Fighters, Raiden Fighters 2, and Raiden Fighters Jet. Dope game for the collection, only on Xbox 360. Now, some of these Raiden Fighter games are now probably on the PS4, PS5, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. But the original, this is still holding a lot of value. I got this game in 2020 for like $3. And here it is complete, guys, so look for that one. Next game at $100 is Tornado Outbreak. Now, as you can see, I got this in a pretty nice little case. It's a Katamari type of game. You're this tornado. You're just trying to build the biggest tornadoes going through like different places, gathering up stuff to be. It is a okay game, but guys, this is sealed. So the sealed price for this is over $175. So I have, this is my second copy. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe for trade one day. Hey, can I even grade it? If you have this in your collection, you got a $100 game. Next game, Spectral Forces 3. Now, as you're gonna see on this video, these games with Atlas. <sighs> if you see Atlas on the Xbox 360 game, only on Xbox 360, guys, that is a recipe for games to be super expensive. If you look at games from the PlayStation 1 up to like the PS3, Xbox 360, sometimes even on the PS4, Atlas games tend to fetch a higher, tend to fetch a higher dollar amount because they're so collectible and a lot of fans around the world are Atlas fans. And they put out great covers. This game usually go around about 100 to 105 bucks. I talked about this game a long time ago. I think I took the video off because YouTube was any weird. But a horny boy game, one chini bomber, bikini samurai squad. I hope I said that first name right, but yes, this game right here, it is actually pretty good. And now it reached a hundred dollars. Now I don't think this game will stay at a hundred dollars, but but when you look at this video a year from now, will this price still be here? Will any of these prices still be here? Don't know. This game is pretty dope. It is worth a download if you can get it. This game is pretty good. If you're collecting Xbox physical and you can find it for cheap, add it to your collection. Knight's Contract. I always thought this game was gonna go up. I got this at a convention about a couple months ago and I just had that feeling like, if I don't get this weird looking game, it may go up and it did. Are y'all blaming YouTubers? Did I, did, you, did I cause it? I don't know, people wanna blame YouTubers, wanna blame me? You had years to get these games, y'all. But hey, I take the blame about what, you know. Game is decent. Is it worth 100? I don't think so. Try it out on the Xbox 360 Marketplace or it's also on the PlayStation 3 for cheaper if you can find it. If you're looking to collect for this, then add it to your collection, but I don't think it's worth 100 bucks. Now we got those little $100 games out the way. We about to go to the moon. First game, 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. I keep talking about this game. 
talk about this game so much. I have it on the PS3. Also, this game is about $107 to 115 bucks on any day. It's darn good. Is it worth it? That's up for you to decide. It's a very good game. But so this is a, like a Walmart exclusive. You got three codes, but the codes weren't in there, but I do like this sticker. I do want me another copy a little better. This is kind of a iffy copy for me, but I am gonna download it. But I am gonna see if this is on the Xbox 360 Marketplace. This game went up. We have Bullet Witch. It's only on the Xbox 360. It has a reversible cover, as you can see. Yeah, horny boyish. As you can see, I paid $35 for this game. It says exclusive poster inside. i never seen one with a poster, so, but I still see this game going for $110 online and sometimes a little bit more. <laughs> like I said, only on Xbox 360 games, guys, and they're weird and they kind of like appeal to... <laughs> yeah, this, that's a recipe for a super high dollar game, y'all, if you're trying to collect for it. Inferno Hell's Revenge, okay game. This game is going for 115. I seen this game hit $150. At one point, it is an Xbox 360 exclusive. It just don't have the only on 360 because it might have been on PC too. But, oh, y'all, these games. You got, I told y'all so long ago, why y'all didn't listen to your boy? Like I said, it's a decent game. It's gotten expensive. If you can find it cheap, add it to your collection. Fatal Inertia. I paid $15 for this game. I'm glad I did because it's one of those weird type of wipeout type of clone games another game that just recently blew up and people found out weird it was and how kind of limited and rare this game was and the whole family can play it so what's the price of this game right now a hundred and twenty five dollars i have seen this game reach 175 which is crazy it went up and went down and it's like right in the middle so i think the new normal for this game is going to be a hundred bucks <sighs> If you find this, grab it. It's a great game. Here we go again. Remember when I told you about Atlas games and only on Xbox 360 games? Well, guess what? Zoid's Assault. Yeah, it's bad boy. It's shot up. I remember my boy Neo Ness introduced me to this game. I was over his house. I said, what is this weird Xbox 360 game? I always like to pick up weird Xbox 360 titles to play later. And I saw Atlas is on here. And I was like, only on Xbox 360? And it's kind of like an anime type of game? Oh, I gotta get that. Even on the PS3, guys, because the PS3 is gonna do the same thing again. Look for these Atlas games. Just get them, because eventually atlas fans are going to want these games going to be in demand and they're going to drive up in price another racing game auto band paliza this game increased in value so much price charging can't even keep up with this game this game runs from 125 all the way up to 175 i've seen everywhere this game is so volatile i don't know where this game is going to end up I know the new normal for this. I know the new normal price for this game is going to be around about between 75 and 100 bucks. Guys, I really don't know what this. I don't know what caused this one. This is another kind of rareish type of game. Just look at it. It looks so bootleggish, and it's not the best racing game. It's a, it's okay. It's the experience. It's fun. But yeah, this game crazy fault. One of the games that kind of started this whole craze, I'm glad I paid $40 for it. Another only on Xbox 360 game, Cuddle Cell Saga. As you can see, your boy paid $40 for this game right here. Kind of a weird, this is a weird, weird game. Played a little bit, it wasn't really for me. I might give it another try. It's a weird game, it's okay. I'm gonna try it again, but people have been paying 150 all the way to 175 for this darn game. This game is crazy expensive right now. <sighs> like I told you, you should've got it. Here we go again, Atlas, <laughs> Xbox, only on Xbox 360, and it's an anime game. Operation Darkness, the lowest you're gonna find, probably $150. I seen this game reach $200. Now, when this game started to go crazy, it was selling right between 150 and 200. The normal probably now is probably about 135 to 150. But again, Atlas, only on Xbox 360, anime game. The recipe 
for an expensive game, mostly on any console. Right now, it's talking about Xbox 360. Will the same thing happen to Atlas games on the PS3? Yes, it will. I guarantee it. Collect those now. This is your warning again. Because, guys, I want you to have games in your collection. And I want you to blame the YouTubers. <laughs> now, this is a game I recently got. I thought I had it. I sold this game a year ago. And I sold it for like 80 bucks. It was already going up. Luckily, I had some trade credit. Sold some stuff from Macari. And I was able to get it for a good price. But, Fist of the North Star. Ken's Rage 2. This game is about to hit $200 and not many copies are on eBay. This game is actually kind of difficult to find on eBay because when you type in Fist of North Star, Ken Rage 2, you will see a lot of crazy listings. It's just wild trying to find this game. This game is about $150 to $200. It's a good game. I love it. Like I said, it's another anime game. We got things with this, guys. It's a theme here. These anime games, these Koei, Atlas, all these type of games, only on Xbox 360, these games are really super expensive. So we got 14 crazy expensive games on Xbox 360. Now, will these games hold their value? Not much, but the thing to worry about is what's the new normal? These games not going down to $15 ever again that ship has sailed. So what you need to do, check your pawn shops, video game stores, and check eBay every now and then. You know, someone might be slipping and just put something on there and you might get a good deal.